Hi everyone, welcome again. In this video, we will talk about bean scopes. Before we do that, let me comment everything and let's focus on a single bean request handler. Okay. So let's go back before Spring and let's see how we generally create new objects of a class. So let's say we have to create a new object of request handler. To do that, we will do something like this handler one equals to new request handler, and that is object number one. Similarly, if we have to create another object, we will say handler two and again new request handler. And if we print both the objects or the reference variables, so handler one and handler two, and if we run the program, so we see that both the objects have different hash codes. It means both the objects are different. They are new objects. Every time when we are calling the constructor and using the new keyword to create a new object, JVM returns a new object of that class. And which makes sense in this case. So we see two different objects, which is logical. Let's move on. Now, if we do the same thing with Spring using context, let's see what happens then. So, let's name it Spring Object 1. And this time, instead of calling new and the constructor, we are getting the object from the Spring context using the type that we already saw. And again, second object and similarly if we print these two objects and run the program so we see for the first case these two are different objects hash code is different for both the objects but when we get the same object from the spring ioc container we get the same hash code that means no matter how many times we are asking the spring container to return a new object of any class we always get the same object back that means spring ioc container does not create a new object of that class every time when we ask for a new object what it does when it reads the app config or the configuration file and when it finds a spring bean it initializes the bean it creates a new object and it stores that object and every time when we ask the spring container to return a new object of that bean it always returns the same object now this is called singleton it means that for a single ioc container and for a single JVM per class loader, there is only one object of a class. And this is called the singleton scope. Now, we have not defined anywhere that this class needs to be singleton. So why are we getting the single object or the singleton object every time? This is the default configuration of Spring. If we don't provide anything, then Spring will configure all the beans as singleton. It means only one object of that bean per IOC container. Now the singleton nature applies only to the IOC container. If we configured a class as a spring bean then it does not mean that we cannot create the object of that class using new keyword. In fact that's what we are doing here. So we are creating the object of request handler using the traditional method which is using the new keyword and calling the constructor and we are also creating this object of the same class using spring bean. And we can see that this object and this object, these two objects are different from what we are getting from the spring container. So the singleton nature applies only to the IOC container, which means the application context that we initialized, it will have the singleton object. But we can still create new objects using the new keyword. So there is this difference that we need to remember and understand. Now, what are the other bean scopes that we need to understand so there is another bean scope which is called 
prototype now prototype is similar to what we get when we call the new keyword prototype means that every time when we are asking for an object from the spring container the spring container will always return a new object of that bean so it will not be a singleton but a new object every time so how do we define a bean to be prototype let's see that so let's say we have to convert the same request handler bean to a prototype bean to do that what we will do, we will use another annotation provided by the spring, which is at the rate scope. To configure it as a prototype bean, what we will do, we will provide the scope to this annotation, and that will be prototype like this. Once we configure this bean as a prototype bean, this time if we run the program, there is no other change that we need to make. We just simply annotate the class using at the rate scope. Now this time we can see that this particular call for two objects from the IOC container is returning two different objects. So this time the hash code of spring object one and spring object two are different. Notice the hash code. So that's how we configure a bean as a prototype bean. Singleton means always return the same object and prototype means create a new object of that bean. Now let's go to the spring documentation and see other scopes. So here you can see the list of bean scopes provided by the spring and this is straight from the documentation. So we have singleton which is the default and it says that scopes a single bean definition to a single object instance for each IOC container. Prototype means uh, any number of object instances. So it's a new object every time. Now request, session, application, and WebSocket, these scopes are specific to web applications, which we will not cover here, but you can read the documentation for all other scopes. So that's pretty much it on the bean scope. And in the next video, we will continue our discussion on the beans. Thanks for watching.